Jane and Tom are both having prolonged gastric distress, and each decides to go to the hospital. At the hospital, Jane and Tom are evaluated by Dr. Wells and Dr. Smith. Both are confident the culprit is most likely a bacterial pathogen. Dr. Wells and Dr. Smith both determine a stool sample is needed for further evaluation. Jane and Tom both leave samples to be tested by the lab. Dr. Smith's hospital still believes stool culture is the way to go and sends Tom's sample to the lab for testing using conventional methods. Meanwhile, Dr. Wells' hospital uses the Varigine Enteric Pathogens Test, which can rapidly detect up to nine bacteria, viruses, and toxins in a single sample. She sends Jane's sample for a much faster analysis using Varigine EP. After only two hours, Jane's results are back with a diagnosis of Salmonella. Dr. Wells recommends she go home to rest. While waiting on the culture results from Tom's sample, Dr. Smith cautiously orders additional tests to rule out more serious potential causes. Fortunately, these come back negative. After waiting two to three days, Dr. Smith tells Tom he too tested positive for Salmonella. Although Tom is relieved it's nothing more serious, he is frustrated about the unnecessary cost and time of the additional testing. Meanwhile, Jane is feeling much better. Be like Dr. Wells and learn how Luminex's gastrointestinal portfolio can help you implement a flexible and scalable testing algorithm in your lab.